Okay, so this is what I did to uh, my base beast, I mean uh, side of the beast, bro. When you get it, it has a knob right here. And this knob is how you tighten it down. And unless you got really strong hands, it's hard to get it tight, tight enough with this knob. Well, you can get it pretty tight, but I always prefer to have just a little bit more cinch on there. So, first thing you're going to do is when the thing's all put together, is put a big fat screwdriver underneath this knob and pry it off of there. Stand by. Okay, so underneath that knob, you'll find a little set screw there. A hex key set screw so then anyway what you'll see underneath that is this has a really really small shoulder look at how teeny the shoulder the shoulder is on that thing and uh, it comes in contact with this piece here and it doesn't contact it very much so that could leave this maybe you know not as strong this way so you get a washer that fits over that whole puppy nicely. That also engages well with the shoulder of this gizmo. So, then you go like that and put it back together uh, this way. And just use a hex key and uh, to tighten her down, such as one of these. And anyway, when you do tighten it down, you don't want to over crank it. But using this method allows you really to get a nice snug tight fit so everything is good and snug. When you go into the plastic plates, which are your, your lesser degree plates, uh, you don't want to over crank it because you will strip the threads in the plastic plate if you try to over crank it. Now in your higher degree angles, you got aluminum and uh, you can tighten that pretty pretty tight in that puppy. But anyway, so there it is. That's all I did. Just telling you about, just take, get rid of that plastic knob right out of the gate. Get yourself the appropriate size washer here and uh, use the hex key. So there you go. There you go. Stand by. Okay, and this is their seven degree sidewall planer here. And just do the same thing to that. There you go. Catch me a while ago.